Hey everybody, we are back. My name is Jax and with me we have David, the Sonos expert and we have to say that Sonos Arc has been receiving so many, many, many great reviews online and today we want to be here to share with you one common misconception that everybody might have, alright? So this misconception, right, that we both see uh, online is that people think that this Sonos Arc is only suitable for bigger rooms. And of course, we want to break the misconception. So, David, are you ready to like show everybody why this Sonos Arc is also suitable for small rooms? Yeah, so I just want to introduce to you uh, the Sonos Arc. You know, a lot of people think that the Sonos mm -hmm. Arc is very big and bulky, but yeah. no, Sonos Arc is not just built for the big rooms, it is also built for the small rooms because it is Ooh. not about how big the soundbar is, it is? but it is mm -hmm. about how immersive you want ah, the experience to be. So right. it's about how immersive you want to really feel your music, your movie wow. and more. Okay, so it's not about how big it is. So right. we have already broken the con misconception, but I think we have a lot more information prepared for everybody as well, right? Yeah. And why not let's, let's, let's just share a little bit first. So firstly, the Sonos Arc is actually a 5.0.2 soundbar, mm -hmm. so not just a 3.0 soundbar, a normal soundbar of left, centre, right. Yeah. But it has left, centre, right and two outward firing woofers that ah. would actually give you the whole surround effect. That's right. And more than that, when you play Dolby Atmos content, there's two outward firing woofers and tweeters that will shoot up to the ceiling and push it down so that you are encapsulated in a dome-like experience. That's so right. that is how immersive you want your experience to be. And like I said, such a bar, uh, sound bar like this, right, being able to encapsulate you in a sound, I think that is already very, very amazing. Yeah, so just want to break the misconception about the Sonos Arc. The Sonos Arc is not just built for the big rooms, it is also built for the small rooms. So like this place where we are at yeah. in our flagship store, it is just, you know, 3, point, three meters by 2 meters, but you can actually give you a very, very immersive sound experience. Mm -hmm. So literally, if we just raise up our hands, right, we are already touching the walls right here. And yeah. I mean, if, if David switch, uh, swings his body, he will touch the wall. So we are really in a very small space. But yet, I can tell you, right, because I personally heard it myself, uh, the sound is really, really immersive. Well, if you don't believe me, come on down to our, um, our flagship store. We have this showroom in our flagship store. And you can just sit at this brown chair in front of me. You probably can't see it. But you can sit at this brown chair in front of me and experience the atmos, the atmos of uh, this Sonos Arc. All right, you know what? David, I have to say, right, looking at this Sonos Arc for so many times already, it really suits like the wooden finish of it. And I know that white is not the only color, right? Yeah, so the Sonos Arc comes in both black and white colour. Ah. So it looks good sitting on your TV console. Yes. But if you do not have a TV console, it can also be wall mounted. Oh. So you just need to buy the wall mount which is sold separately. Uh -huh. And it will actually allows you to have options. Wow, I, th I mean the best part about interior designing uh, your own home is that you want items with options, right? You don't want just to be limited to one place that you can put uh, your soundbar or anything uh, in your own homes. So. I think he ha having that option for the wall mount is really amazing. Yeah, and Sonos is not just about the acoustic, but aesthetically it looks amazing. Oh. So you may be browsing through some interior designing website, mm -hmm. you may be a homeowner or you are just proposed getting a BTO. Mm -hmm. So you know what, the Sonos Arc is for your house, for your living room, and not just for your living room, but it can also be for your bedroom. Wow. So it's really about how immersive your whole experience that you want to All be. Right. So it doesn't matter whether your home house team is Scandinavian mm. or industrial, mm -hmm. the Sonos Arc design will work for you. So oh. because it doesn't not just sound uh, acoustically amazing, but aesthetically it looks great. So David, is there any more uh, things that you want to add or introduce to our audiences here about the Sonos Arc? Yeah, so Sonos is not just a hardware company, but it is also a software course, company. So your course. user experience is very important to Sonos. So in the Sonos Arc, there's actually two modes, two modes. Uh, on the uh, app itself. Okay. So the first mode that I want to introduce to you is called Speech Enhancement. Speech Enhancement. Have you actually experienced when you're watching a show that you can't really hear the dialogue, it's very muffled and it's not very oh, clear? Oh, yeah. <laughs> actually, uh, uh, I have this exact problem. Because I have my flat screen TV at home, right? When I play, right, the, I just can't hear anything <laughs> that's going on. So all I hear is boom, boom, right? But I don't hear the actual, actual conversation between the people. 
Yeah, so for example, if you're watching Netflix, you know, you can't really hear the dialogue or, mm. you know, for some watching mm. movie. So that's where you, when you go to the Sonos app, you press this mode called a speech mm. enhancement mode, where you enhance the human frequency and the vocals of uh, humans, wow. that you can actually hear the dialogue much clearer. So no more just reading subtitle, but you can hear the audio and the dialogue very clearly. Wow, all right. So uh, that is the first mode, right? Speed enhancement. Is that, you mentioned two. So what's the other one? The other mode is called a night mode. Night so mode. have you ever experienced when you're uh, working late at night and mm -hmm. then come home, you just want to binge watch your show and not disturb your family right. members or your kids at home? Yes, but actually a lot of times I, I don't watch like uh, movies at night because I, I feel like people around me might be affected. Yeah. yeah, so that is why the night mode in the Sonos app is so important because mm -hmm. you can actually come home late at night and still watch your Avengers or your mm -hmm. uh, loud explosive uh, movies <sighs> but yet at the same time it doesn't disturb your neighbours or it doesn't disturb your family members or you may have a kid that's sleeping at home because what it does is basically suppresses all oh. the loud, boomy and I explosive see. sound so you can actually experience it without disturbing okay. your family members so David, I have this question, right? And that is, how can I get the best experience, right, in my home out of this Sonos app? So like I mentioned, Sonos is not just a hardware company, but it is also a software company. So Sonos actually has this function called the True Play function. True play. So have you actually experienced, you know, last time where you actually invite, where you have big box speakers and then you have to invite audio engineers and then you do a lot of measuring and like making sure your acoustic sounds mm -hmm. nice because the sound needs to adjust to your room mm -hmm. and uh, living room. Yes, uh, very much. Uh, <laughs> I remember the engineers will come to my house and then they will say, okay, this is the place to put your woofer. This is the place to put your the point twos. And uh, I, I think I was uh, uh, very taken aback by it. And then the worst thing is, right, that I found out, right, it, the position actually matters. So I actually moved a lot <laughs> of the yeah. speakers at home. So what you have actually done is that you have actually spent a lot of time, yes. a lot of money, yes. and if you were to move it, your kids were to move it, your whole calibration will go off the charts. Oh my gosh. But you don't have to worry oh. with the Sonos because of its true play function. Mm -hmm. So what is true play? So true play basically shoots out a sound from the Sonos speaker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So with 30 seconds on your iOS devices, you just need to digitally map out your house, walk around your house. With just 30 seconds, it will auto-calibrate the speaker itself to give you the best acoustic sound no matter how your living room is positioned or like whether it's an odd shape or not. It will adjust to its surrounding, adapt and uh -huh. give you the best acoustic sound wherever you are. I, I, I really was trying to be calm right, when you were speaking about all these things. But you're really saving so much money. You're yeah. saving so much time as well. Like you literally skip that whole step of getting like the sound engineer coming into your uh, house, right? To literally like um, map out the room for you. You don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, with the app itself. That is right. Everything oh. is digitalized and it will calibrate, auto calibrate wow. for you to give you the best sound wherever you are. Wow, I'm really very amazed at how much we are getting, right? The value that we are getting, right? Just buying a Sonos product. Yeah, yeah. You, because it's literally getting two for one, you know, you're not just getting the hardware, uh, but you're really getting the software as well. And I have to say where you mentioned just now, uh, 200 patents yeah. in, in um, as you were talking to me about Sonos product, 200 patents uh, for, their, for their software, right? I have to say it's really, 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 really worth uh, your your money and I have to say right um, David I'm very sold to buy one already so uh, you are saying that we can get the Sonos app from our web store that is correct so you can actually get the Sonos through our web store or Ooh. come down to our flagship store and we will give you a very immersive experience wow so if you really don't trust me <laughs> You better trust me, but if you don't trust me, you can come down to our flagship store and then you can test out all these effects, right? If you want to test out the night mode, you can try the night mode here. If you want to test out the speech enhancement mode, you can come down to our flagship store to try it. And of course, if you want to just try and test out this whole Dolby Atmos in the Sonos app, you can come down to our flagship store and try it out as well. If not, you can head over to our website, sg.tcacoustic.asia. Our web store is there. You can look at our full range of Sonos products, but of course you can check out the other brands that we carry as well. So 
Guys, that's all for this episode. But before we end, you know, you can just leave a like on this. All right. Press subscribe, hit the notification bell so that next time we actually do any videos and we upload it on YouTube, you will be first in line to be notified about our videos next time. All right. So that is all. My name is Jax and this is David. Goodbye.